Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Print Challenge. So I saw this tutorial by Joey Carlino the other day on how to convert any 3D object into Lego bricks using the latest Blender version 3.4. It's an amazing tutorial, very well explained, very easy to follow, so if you're into Blender I can definitely recommend watching it. Now of course I could not wait to try this myself, but as you can probably guess with the additional intention of printing the object that I would turn into Lego. So I downloaded a human head and following the tutorial I converted it into Lego bricks. The only things I had to change was to add a realize instances node at the end and to not make the little bricks hollow because that would make things too hard to print at smaller scales. I turned on my printer in the evening and to be honest uh, for some reason I was not expecting too much from this print, I thought of it just as a fun little experiment. But the next morning I removed the print from the build plate and I was so impressed with the result. It's one of those prints that reminds you how magical 3D printing can be. I guess perhaps because this is not something you normally see and I mean you can even see the little studs on the lego bricks. After playing around with it a little bit I also discovered that you can really change the overall mood of the sculpture by playing around with light. If you place a light above the head for example the eyes really become darker and in my opinion the head looks a bit more mysterious that way. I knew that I could not stop here and I had to do something more with this. Looking at the head I was suddenly reminded of an artist called Nathan Sawaya who makes these beautiful full size Lego sculptures and one of his most iconic pieces is called Yellow, a sculpture about opening yourself up to the world and looking at the sculpture I think that makes a lot of sense. I really like the sculpture so I'm gonna try to create and print it. So I started by downloading a human model, I removed the legs and I kept changing it until I had a sculpture in the same pose as the yellow sculpture. Next I added the gap in the torso and then following the tutorial I converted the entire thing into lego bricks. And here and there I did add and remove a few bricks manually to clean everything up a little bit. Next for the loose bricks in and outside of the model I thought it would be fun to do a couple of rigid body simulations because, well, there is never a wrong time for rigid body simulations. Now I was thinking of printing everything you see as one piece but this could result in a lot of new problems. For example, placing supports below the arms is difficult with bricks in the way, so I think I'm going to print the little bricks separately. Now let's start printing. Now the sculpture itself was a humongous print at a whopping 32 hours. And one of the reasons for this is that the printer prints lego bricks also on the inside instead of just some infill pattern which would be a lot faster. And this is because of the way the model was generated. I could not find an easy way to quickly simplify the 3D file and doing this manually would literally be a work of days, so uh, if someone has tips to simplify the mesh feel free to leave a comment. Now despite the long print time the print itself however looks amazing. We only need to clean it up a bit. There are some strings here where there were overhangs so I'm gonna remove them with a little knife. And to remove the supports I first use a big plier for the big chunks and then I clean things up a bit more in detail with a little knife. Cool, and so now we just need to print a bunch of little bricks. The bricks in the real sculpture are of size 3x2, so I'm going to print those as well. And I turned on the complete individual objects checkmark in the output options, because then the printer will completely finish printing a brick before moving on to the next one. And this should result in better looking bricks and it avoids stringing. Uh, I placed 42 bricks on one plate and I must have printed this at least 10 times. And the funny thing is that the bricks tend to stick together because the printer has apparently created a lot of tiny strings between them. And when we have enough bricks we can finally finish the sculpture. So first I place some bricks inside of the sculpture and then I just create a little pile in front of the sculpture to make it look as if some bricks fell out of the gap. And then I grab a couple of bricks from the inside and I pull them out so they make the little pile in the front a bit bigger. And again, light can really add a lot to the sculpture, so make sure you place it somewhere below a spotlight and it will look 10 times better. And that was it from me, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing, and if you print a model, please share it on Thingiverse or Printables, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.